Well, hello, friends. This here is David Vos. Today is April the 20th, 2016. It's good to see everybody. Well, I think that the opening spiel here, this little footage uh, from Carl Sagan, I think this proves beyond any shadow of a doubt. I mean, now, okay, any piece of evidence cannot prove something. Simply one piece of evidence. I mean, that would be conclusive. But then again, if all the other evidence proves and shows that the earth is flat, then you wouldn't be able to, you know, you have a contradiction. I think that's what's happening in people's minds. I mean, you're, you're talking about something that can't be proved just by looking up into the sky and, you know, meh, five minutes of looking at it and you're like, ah, oh, okay. I mean, look at thousands of years, mankind did not know the earth was round. Okay, if indeed it was round. They didn't know. At least this is what we're being told. That, that, that there was a time when in the Dark Ages they thought the earth was flat. So for, you know, minor observers today that just came along, little Johnny Come Latelys, kids in their basement looking up into the sky with their binoculars, and then for them to tell scientists and all the ancient, you know, you're going to tell uh, Copernicus and Galileo they were wrong. And everyone has been lying, all the scientists, not just NASA. Let's get over this thing about, oh, NASA's lying. I mean, come on. I'm sure NASA's lying about lots of stuff. Most things in government is. But <laughs> the thing of it is, is that this has been a long-standing scientific knowledge that the earth is round we've known this at you know from the time that mankind finally got the ability to use difficult geometrical math and they figured out problems that galileo observing and using geometry and stuff figured this stuff out nothing is missing in this long chain of information that we've been getting and it's been handed down Look, I, I'm, I'm just as big a, a conspiracy, you know, critic as, as anyone else. And, and I don't believe hardly anything our government tells me. But friends, I myself can look into the sky and see on my very own that the earth is round. I'll give you several reasons. I mean, it, I don't know why many of you aren't noticing these things that are so obvious. I mean, I could understand where somebody get carried away with this stuff for a while, uh, maybe not knowing a lot about science and so forth, maybe just being a, an amateur uh, astronomer or something. But, friends, look at the moon. Okay, have you ever noticed that it waxes and wanes? That it's, when you know, when it's a full moon, it's round. I mean, it's pretty hard to miss that. It's round, okay? So I know a lot of you are saying, well, here's the thing. We're just living on this little piece of cardboard. Kind of like um, that movie. I forgot the name of that movie with uh, Jim Carrey, you know. And he was in this man-made world. And he was grown up there and lived all his life. And he didn't even know it. But the whole thing was being filmed and he was being hoodwinked. I mean, look, I teach this in all my videos that, that we're being lied to. All right. And to an extent, it's kind of like that. We're all living in this world, and there's a lot of things we're being lied to about. But friends, we're not living in a cardboard world. Nature is real. The sun is real. The water against your skin when you swim is real. The flowers actually bloom in spring. These are things that I have confidence in. I don't know why you don't. When you look up in the, mor in the morning and you see the sun rising, or when you go to bed at night and you see the sun going down. Now, we know then that regardless of whether it's the sun that's moving around the earth or whether the earth is spinning, let's just leave that alone because nobody with just observation, simple observation, would necessarily be able to know the answer to that. So I'm not you know, too worried that you can't observe that on your own. What I'm, what I'm saying is, is that 
it's going in a straight line from east to west. It rises in the east and it sets in the west. This is very easy to observe. It, it, it comes up in the east. Now, in the summertime, it comes up further um, north. And in the wintertime, it comes up further south. So we know that it's, it's not just going around and around and around the exact same pattern. Same thing with the moon. It's got, it waxes and wanes. And it can be seen from different parts of the earth. And it's pretty obvious from that that we can see that there's some sort of pattern that can be measured. Now, I have not seen any of these supposed flat earth videos. These little simple videos, two, three, four, five minute long videos where people are claiming they can prove the earth is flat. I have not seen any of them go through all of this evidence that's gone through by Copernicus and Galileo and all of the scientists and geometrists, astronomers, excuse me, that have been studying these things for hundreds and hundreds of years. It's just simply silly for anyone to just discard all of that information and all of that scientific research that's been going on for hundreds of years. But now, look up at the sky and you see the sun going in a straight line from east to west when it goes down in the west, it goes straight down. Now, there is no other way. If you're on a flat earth, and all the pictures that I've seen, now look, I don't understand this flat earth theory very well. I, I admit, I haven't sat and watched hundreds of these videos where people are claiming the earth is flat. But from the ones that I see, from the information that I'm getting from these people, these amateurs that are looking up in the sky and claiming it's flat, what I'm seeing is they're saying that we're living on a round disk. And that if you went to Antarctica, you'd fall off the earth or something. Okay. To me, that right there should tell you something. That's insane, right? Okay. But let's just, all right, let's just come, uh, let's entertain this theory for a moment. So we're living on this round, flat disk. So how is the sun going from right to left, east to west, straight line, and then goes down, straight down over the mountains or over the horizon? So, if it's a flat disk, is the sun going behind a cardboard disk or the flat disk, you know, under the turtle or so to speak? And then, and then going, and so in other words, there's another uh, group of people living on the other side of the flat disk. Is that it? Or, you, no, because from what I understand, most of these people who believe in the flat round disk earth theory are saying that the sun and the moon and the stars are going around the flat disk. From what I understand, they're saying it's, it's going around like a corkscrew. All right, and let's say we're, we're going to draw a circle in the middle of the circle, like a, a smaller circle in, in, within the big circle. And that, that smaller circle is the equator. All right, it would, you know, I hope you can understand what I'm saying. You, you got a circle, a large circle that is supposedly the flat earth. And inside that circle is a smaller circle. It's about half the size of the larger circle. That smaller circle, the circumference of it, represents what we call the equator. So the sun is going around and around and around this line, this smaller circle within the circle. All right? So we look up at the sky. How is it then that... So, so, so on this disk, where is east and west? Is east and west then curvi have a curvature? Because you see, the sun, uh, the sun is going to travel in a circle. It's going to have a curvature. So when we look at the sun and it's going across, it's going straight across. We look up, it goes straight from east to west straight. And there's no curvature. Because you see, the actual curvature is around the earth. But from our point of view, it's straight. Okay, We look up and it's straight above us. And it goes from east to west straight above us. So... But if you're on a circular flat earth and the, and the sun is actually going in a smaller circle, it would not be going straight. In the summer, the sun is more to the north and in the winter, it's more to the south. So it had to be kind of like a corkscrew in your mind. But still, there would be a curvature. There would be an arc. And the arc wouldn't be over your head. It would be, you know, going towards the outer part of the circle. I'm not probably explaining this very well. I hope all of you can grasp what I'm saying because I don't know if I'm making any sense, but um, the fact that the sun goes straight down over the horizon is absolute proof 
that we are a sphere. The only other possibility is if, it, if you believe in a, in, a, in a flat, round, you know, a round disk, flat earth. The only other possibility is the sun is going straight across from east to west and going down over the edge of the disk and onto the other side and around the other side and back around again. Just like it would on the round globe, but it's going to be flat. But um, that seems quite a, kind of absurd. The entire thing's absurd. The moon is round, and, and I know many of you think it's just a flat piece of, you know, a flat moon, just like a piece of cardboard pasted on the top of a, of a what, what do you call it, an expanse or globe? Like, a, like you've got a crystal spherical globe above you. And, and there's pasted all these stars up there, like little lights shining. Like you go in your bedroom and you put that little night light in that shows the stars on your bedroom. And it goes around and around in your bedroom. Really? Is this what you think the universe is? So basically you think that we're just in a little cardboard, you know, cut out, like creation. Literally created. Like they made, like a little snow globe, right? We're living in this little snow globe. Oh my goodness, I mean, this would be fantastic if, if you're correct. But it's impossible because, you see, that would mean that all the little flakes inside the snow globe are the stars, and there's one little sun floating around in there, and a moon floating around in there, and somehow or another the moon and the sun go, well, at least the sun goes from east and west across that snow globe and and then go down, and, where you know, at the bottom of the of the snow globe it reaches the floor would have to come back in other words it would go down in the east and come back in the east right because they have to turn around or does it go down in the east and then below a horizon that you can't quite see you know like over the mountains it goes around the, the outer part of the globe and then comes back up in the and the other side or something i mean this doesn't make any sense friends think about it it's crazy this video proves just with two observations that we are actually living on a round sphere. Even the Bible says that we're on a round sphere. I don't know where people are getting the idea that the Bible says the earth is flat. It's just not true. And observation says the earth is a sphere. And everything that we've known and every scientific fact that's known. And, you know, the idea that there's no pictures of the earth being a sphere is also ridiculous. There's plenty of them. And, you know, it's easy to say, well, they're all fake. But you can't produce a picture that shows the Earth as a big flat disk either. So why would you even come up with the idea if you don't got any proof for it? Anyway, friends, I really don't know. I mean, a lot of you are, tr are trying to make the case that, well, you know, if the Earth is round, then why don't you have proof for it? And, you don't, you know, and everybody's always m mad at me because I don't come out with a video disproving all of this. That's like every time somebody comes up with some crazy idea, I'm supposed to come out with a video and disprove it, right? Tomorrow, you're going to come up with an idea that um, uh, mountains are really not going in the air, but they actually extend into the center of the earth. And somehow or another, I'm supposed to disprove evidence that don't exist. There is no evidence, absolutely none, that our earth is flat, friends. It's absolutely absurd. Why should I make a video? But, okay, it seems like I've got a lot of people subscribed to my channel that think the Earth is flat. So I'm going to put this video out. I think it's sufficient to prove that the Earth is round or a sphere, friends. So I hope this helps. And uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to burst anyone's bubbles. I'm trying not to be, you know, I don't mean to be rude or, or, or uh, what's the word, you know, just uh, uh, hurtful and and. and I don't mean to mock or make fun, but friends, do not, do not think that you can go outside with a pair of binoculars, look up at the star, come up with some crazy theory that really, you know, I mean, the, the Earth is actually made out of Swiss cheese, and 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 the openings in the vault, little holes, and that's what there's actually just light out there, and the little light shines through. And that's not stars, it's just little lights flying through the little holes in, the, in, the, in the, the dome or something. Oh my goodness, friends, that would be absurd, right? I just invented a whole new theory, you know? But just because 
You can't disprove what I just said doesn't mean somehow or another that what I said is true. But in fact, the proof is galore. It is, it is hundreds and hundreds of years of scientific observation, which, you know, you wonder why I don't put all this observation on this, on this uh, video so, so it will be established, right? Well, friends, this observation has been out there. It's in all the books and all the scientific literature, and, and it's, it's difficult for a person to sit down and put down all the little pieces and, you know, evidences and proofs. Most of it's obvious, right? Nobody has thought to question such things. So it's not like there was ever a book that was written that explained from the time that the first observation was made and catalog all of the observations that's been made unto date. The only thing a person can do is, is once he's told that there's somebody out there in the world that actually doesn't believe, you know, any of the scientists and what they're saying and doing, not only the NASA, but the Russian space program and all of their scientists over there, and, you know, the Greek philosophers believe this, uh, modern scientists all the way from, from Copernicus and Galileo and all, of the, you know, Pasteur and all of the ancient, you know, Einstein had to have been an idiot, right? And, and, and uh, Tesla, you know, he's, who's a hero to many, he was an idiot, right? Swedenborg was an idiot. Sir Isaac Newton was an idiot. And these little, you know, amateur astronomers that are, or I wouldn't even call them astronomers, but certain individuals that, that have decided to, you know, spend a couple of months watching some videos on YouTube are all of a sudden going to be trusted. We're going to distrust every scientific equation and observation to date. It's absurd, friends. And really, I don't think that I need to spend any more videos doing any more information on this particular subject. I think this case is closed. And uh, if any of you still believe that the Earth is flat, you're more than welcome to believe that. I simply do not believe that. I don't think that it's even worthy for me to make another video on the subject. Friends, what I said in the last video about this is probably the most important thing. And that is that the, the world is energy. Vibrations and energy. And it's all, you know, energy, you know, vibrates out from the center. And this is why everything is round, friends. And, it, you know, this is, a, this is so... It's so uh, in-depth, all the knowledge that's out there in the universe, the quantum physics and uh, relativity and, and, and all this information that we've had, the fact that we've got satellites circling the Earth is proven by the fact that you're on your computer. And you say, well, that doesn't prove anything. So we got satellites wandering around inside this little snow globe, right? Well, huh. the fact that there's satellite at all proves something. Because that means that energy can travel through space. And energy is a vibration. And the vibration always starts from the center and vibrates outward. And so, therefore, this is why we have globes. So, friends, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and close there. Um... I think for most of you, this is going to be conclusive. For those of you that it isn't, I'm very sorry that I couldn't do a better job explaining this to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this video, and uh, you guys have a great week. This here's David Vos signing out.